Some examples of things that you might write down or you might think about are FDR was brave, he was smart, he was caring. Okay, some reasons why he was brave because he wasn't afraid to take on the Great Depression. He was smart because he thought of ways to handle it and to deal with all the problems that were going on. And you could also say he was caring or he was nice because he cared about the people who were poor and didn't have a lot. He wanted to help support them. Okay, those are just a few examples. If you thought of something else that's similar, that would be a correct answer too. Okay, we're going to continue reading on the next page where it says California. California, here we... The government helped the farmers in many... Still many families lost hope for their. They did not believe they could overcome the challenges of the. Hundreds of thousands of Americans left there. They left the dusty plains behind and headed west too. Unfortunately, these families faced new problems when they arrived. The state of California could not provide housing, jobs, and food for so many extra people. What are some of the problems we read about in that section? Go ahead and write down, you can just use bullet points, what were some of the problems from that section? Now we're going to keep reading and see if we find some solutions. There were many conflicts between the farmers from the plains and people already living in. Sometimes violence broke out. President Roosevelt saw people in need and tried to. The government built 13 camps in to house the farm families when they arrived in. The people who lived in these camps had to work in the camp to pay for their tent and. So did this talk about any solutions yet? No, not really. It actually talks about some more problems, so you might add some of the things from this section to your list of problems on that page. Okay, here we go to the next part. The birthday balls. FDR also continued to try to help people with polio during the time, excuse me, during this time of great Roosevelt had tried to find new ways to treat the disease and make life better for people with. He started an association dedicated to finding new treatments and a. The association provided help for people with polio who could not help. At first, Roosevelt used his own money for this work. Before long, the association needed more. One of the president's friends suggested having a party to raise money on Roosevelt's. He believed the president's name would bring publicity to the... Roosevelt, Roosevelt thought this was a brilliant... The party was called the Birthday Ball, and events with this name were held all across the... The first ball was so successful that people continued to hold birthday balls until Roosevelt's death in. Okay, so we do see some solutions in that section. Not necessarily to all the problems that we've read about, but we see some solutions to the problem of not having enough money for helping people with polio at that time. So you can write down what some of those solutions were on your page. Okay, the next part, March of Dimes. Eddie Cantor, a popular singer, asked Americans to help the president's polio work in a new way. He asked people to send their extra coins to the... Cantor said it would be a March of Dimes to reach all the way to the White House. This fundraiser was very successful. Later, the association renamed itself the March of Dimes. The Treasury Department chose to put FDR's likeness on the dime because of his work with the... Okay, so there's something else in that section that we could add to our solutions list. Now make that three. In 1940, the American people elected FDR to a third. The drought was over, but new problems were on the... 
World War II began in Europe in 1939. The United States stayed out of the war at first, but it did send needed supplies to England in late 1941. The United States entered the... Roosevelt worked with other world leaders to win the war so that people could live... All right, next page. This is our last page of this story. A short. In 1944, FDR was again elected, but his friends and family were. His illness and the years of hard work serving his country were wearing him. On April 12, 1945, Franklin Delano Roosevelt he did not live long enough to see the end of the... But by the time he died, FDR did know that the United States and the other countries fighting with it were going to win the war. Roosevelt took to heart what he learned early on about the importance of helping. He used his wealth as well as his talents as a politician to try to improve the lives of... He worked for polio patients, farmers, and the poor at a time when most people were looking out only for themselves. The United States might be a different place today without his leadership and vision. Okay, so that is the end of this story. I would like you to write what you think the theme of this story is. So what is a lesson that we can learn from FDR's life? There's a couple other things that you could do as activities with this story if you get done with your packet and you're wanting some other things to do or if you want to challenge yourself to do something a little bit more difficult. You could write a report about FDR's life using the information from this story. You could type that report on the computer if you have a computer available to you or you could just write it down, create paragraphs using correct punctuation and capitalization, writing information about his life. I would love for you to share those things with me if you end up doing that. I will make a place on Google Classroom where you can share with me work that you've done this week. So if you end up making a report on FDR, you can go ahead and share that with me. This last page goes along with the FDR story and it gives you some other ideas of activities that you might do to go along with the story. So just reading the story is not all you want to do. Now reading is valuable and I definitely want you to be reading. But if you get done with reading and you still have time in the week, go ahead and do some of these other activities or ideas. One thing that you can do is you can make this chart and it gives you the conclusion that President Roosevelt was a caring man. We know that, that that is true because of details from the story. Then I'd like you to write in what are two examples of ways that he was a caring man. If you want to challenge yourself or make it more difficult, you could even add more than two ways that he is a caring man. There's also a writing activity that you could do. You could write a personal narrative about someone who has inspired you to do something for another person, your school, or your community. So that would be a story about someone who inspires you. And you would want to include why they inspire you and then how do they inspire you. What does that person make you want to do or make you want to be? There are also some vocabulary words. You can use these words to do several different activities with vocabulary. You might write the words in sentences, or you could make a vocab quilt. All of the students know what that is. So I take a piece of paper, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. I break it up into ten boxes. And then I'm going to write each of the words in a box and then draw a picture to go along with that word to show what it means. 
And all of these words should be pretty familiar to you. If you don't know what one of the word means, you can look back in the story to try to figure out what it means through context clues. You could look it up in a dictionary if you have one, or if you have internet access, you could look it up online. If all else fails, you could always ask someone what it means, or feel free to reach out to me and I would help you.